Welcome back to Sports Bit. We're here with Clay Travis from Fox Sports and from Outkick the Coverage, a guy who has me outnumbered in Twitter followers more than 25 to 1, which makes me very jealous. Please follow me on Twitter at Teddy underscore covers. Clay, let's talk the 2017 football season. Yes. You're a guy who has your ear to the ground. What are you hearing? Who do we like? Who do we do, uh, dislike? Let's talk NFL to start for 2017. Give me well, a bet think, on or a bet against I, I think, you know, everything in the NFL at this point is Patriots, yes or no, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I feel like uh, there are a lot of people out there who if I gave them the option, you get the Patriots or the other 31 teams, mm -hmm. they would take the Patriots. Yeah. Now, for me, I think that's insane. You know, I always like the more value. What happens if Brady gets hurt? We just still haven't seen that much of Garoppolo. Um, you know, guy's going to be 40 years old. So, you know, I like to break down by division almost because to me, when you look across the, the landscape of divisions, gives you a better sense who's going to make the playoffs. It's hard to make the playoffs in the NFL, and it's particularly hard to make the playoffs in the NFL and win a game if you don't have a great quarterback. So I think there are only about 10 or 12 teams with great quarterbacks right now as we enter into the 2017 season. So if I run like around the, uh, around the nation, I think Patriots will win the AFC East. I think that uh, the, AF the NFC South is probably the most intriguing division in all of football right now because you've got – three really, really good quarterbacks, arguably four, right? I mean, you start to break down. That, to me, is the best quarterbacking division in all of football. So, to me, the most challenging division to point to in, in all of football is the NFC South. Are you, you confident in Drew Brees? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hall of Famer, first ballot. You confident in Jameis Winston? A lot of people are with I the am. new weapons that he has there. No question. Sean Jackson, O.J. Howard, I think they're going to be a lot better at the, on the offensive side of the ball. Um, are you confident in Cam Newton? Maybe the least reliable, mm -hmm. fascinatingly, of everybody in that division, even though he was the MVP two years ago, because I'm very confident in Matt Ryan. So I have no idea what's going to happen in the NFC South, but I think that's the most intriguing race. The second most intriguing race, I think, is the AFC South uh, because I'm a huge believer in Marcus Mariota. I've watched him uh, make every throw so far in the NFL. I obviously watched him play a lot in college, and I'm a true believer. I mean, I, I just think that the Titans are going to win the AFC South. I think that Mariota, if he can stay healthy, is going to be a top 10 quarterback for the next decade. Um, I, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with Andrew Luck. Obviously, he's, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in Luck, but he's not healthy right now. The Texans have nobody. We'll see whether Deshaun Watson is able oh, to rise yeah, up. Yeah, Texans have somebody. We just don't think we'll he's good yeah, at NFL level. Deshaun, Deshaun Watson and Tom Savage, we'll see if they've got a quarterback. Um, and then uh, Jacksonville, poor Jacksonville, they're dead. They're in the race for, uh, for top pick overall, and we'll see whether or not they can get Sam Darnold. Um, you know, I can go across every division, but to me – the biggest question is Patriots or not. On the NFC side uh, of the ball, man, I just I just find it hard to pick against the best quarterbacks. And I think it's a quarterback's league, and that's all that matters. So I would say, uh, you know, if Aaron Rodgers can stay healthy, like he can play like he did down the stretch, then I like the Packers' chances to uh, to, to win the NFC. So let's talk sleepers then, you know, because yeah. really when we're talking mainstream, we you know, we know yes. the best teams and we know the best quarterbacks. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper and see, are there any teams that are way under the radar, non-playoff teams yes. from last year, let's say? Well, I'll give you two to big right off the top. I mean, the Bucks and the Titans. I mean, mm -hmm. Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota won two. It'll be now their third year in the league. Uh, we, I mentioned them already in the, in the NFC South is how challenging that is. I think both the Bucks and the Titans have good chances to be playoff teams this year and that were not playoff fun, teams last year. Well, then that'd be a fun rivalry, too, oh, with Winston and Mariota going great, one and two. Great, And then Winston and Mariota being – uh, making the playoffs in the same exactly. year. Exactly. Uh, I think both of them will. Uh, to me, you know, the NFC North is is a division. Let's take away the Packers, who we know have a great quarterback. I feel like a lot of people still don't respect Matthew Stafford and the Lions. I know they went to the playoffs this past year. It's been forever. My wife's from Detroit. You went to school at Michigan. You know how long it's been since the Lions actually won a playoff game. Uh, I think if everything went well for the Lions, that they could be really good this year. Um I know Sam Bradford, it's trendy to make fun of the fact that he can't stay healthy. But if they can protect him, I think he's a pretty good quarterback for the Vikings. We know how talented their defense, defensive side of the ball is. I'm so, kind of like I'm just working across the country. <laughs> um, to me, uh, when you get out west, I'm not a believer in Carson Palmer. I think the Cardinals have probably peaked. I think Larry Fitzgerald, I think they're probably done. Uh, but, a, uh, but a team that I think could make a big step in improvement, I'm not necessarily sold on – Jared Goff at all but I do think that the Rams are going to be a lot better this year than they were last year and then I'll go back all the way to the east I think the Eagles could make a uh, could make a big jump this year if 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 Wentz is as good as he looked like he could be I'm a big believer in year one to year two you know like what can you do year one to year two because that's when they got all the film on you all of a sudden mm -hmm. and you know how the NFL defenses work they can take away anything but a pocket passer 
That's kind of the lesson that we've learned over the last 15 years, basically. And to me, Wentz looked like, at times, he could be a really good, big, strong, prototypical, prototypical pocket passer. So if he can take the next step, to me, the Eagles, and I like going young quarterbacks because, you know, again, Jared Goff didn't look great that first year, but I think the expectations are so low for the Rams that potentially he could be a uh, he could be a kind of a, a big surprise if he's just decent this year. Sure, when you're talking about from a point spread perspective, yes. the Rams are going to be underdogs in just about every game. Right. Uh, if they're decent, uh, and nobody's going to nobody's going to bet on them. Exactly. You're, you're, if they're yes. decent, you'll make a lot of money yes. with a team like L.A. Uh, you talk about Detroit. Uh, let's put it this way: the last time the Lions won a playoff game, I was still living in Ann Arbor. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, my wife, you know, is from Michigan and went to University of Michigan as well, and uh, I'm well versed in the Lions' woes. <laughs> yes. No shortage. Uh, last question. Let's just move to college real yeah. quick. Anyone in college got your eye? But obviously, besides Alabama and Oklahoma and you know the the, the top teams. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about a sleeper or maybe one of the top teams that you think might not live up to expectations. Well, so I think Florida State might not live up to expectations because mm-hmm. I think they're going to lose to Alabama in Week One. Mm-hmm. And we know how good Alabama typically plays in week one after all the preparation Nick Saban puts in. Uh, Even as good as Jimbo Fisher is, I think that Alabama is going to beat Florida State. I think it will be hard for Florida State to make the playoff, and that's the expectation for them, without then running the table the rest of the way. So uh, do I think that they're going to go 12-0, and um, at, you know, winning through the, uh, the championship game uh, in the AFC – or, sorry, ACC? Uh, no, I don't. So I don't think Florida State's going to make the playoff, even though they're a prohibitive favorite to do so right now. I'm also not 100% sold in JT Barrett. You know, he's been there a long time. Uh, I, I think that he has peaked, and we have seen – J.T. Barrett be as good as he's going to be. He's a good quarterback, not a great quarterback. So I don't believe that Ohio State should be as prohibitive of a favorite in the Big Ten as they are. Huge believer in Bama. I love USC because of their schedule and also because I think Sam Darnold's going to win the Heisman Trophy. I went and bought my first uh, you know, futures ticket. I know you don't like them, but I got Sam Darnold at 9-1. to one. Another thing I'd like to see if gambling gets legalized is you be able to trade in your futures market tickets, sure. you know, on a digital level. If I get somebody, let's say like uh, Lamar Jackson was 66 to one before the season started to mm-hmm. win the Heisman Trophy. If he's eight to one and I want to cash in in the differential that I've created, you know, basically in predicting him to be better than he was expected, even before we know if he should win the Heisman Trophy, I think there should be a market to take those future tickets off your hands. Sure, and there, there's a start of that. There's a site called Prop Swap. I've that, heard about uh, that. But go it's, to, but it, it's only you have to be physically in and the, in Las Vegas. I feel like to, most to people it. have no idea exists. Sure. Right. And and frankly, again, the fact that you have to be physically in one location knocks out a huge percentage of the people that are in the population. Sure, that's not 2017. Yes. Uh, People know you exist, Clay Travis. Where can they find you? You can find me at Clay Travis, easy on Twitter. Uh, Outkick the coverage, outkick.com is my website. And uh, we do a morning show nationwide, 250 AM FM stations, 50 uh, states, and Sirius XM channel 83. I'm up early, 6 to 9 AM Eastern. You can hear me every Monday through Friday. 3 AM Pacific time. Yes. That's brutal. Yep. Thank you so much, Clay. Appreciate it. Really glad uh, you were able to stop by right here on SportsBit at SBRPicks.com. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to SBRPicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.